So, say you're approached by some guy. Straight out of 2005, this guy's convinced that JRPGs are the shit. And he asks you what the difference is between the Tales series and Final Fantasy. Maybe you don't know yourself, or you do know, and you can't imagine where you're gonna start. But in either case, you might say that one series has anime cutscenes. But what if the hypothetical idiot asks which one? I don't know which one has anime. You say... Now the professionals at the production IG, who has made this anime control, know their business quite well. To portray the most intriguing parts of the game, while completely removing the context. As far as I can tell, this game takes place in the alternate history Swiss Alps, where the rocks look like dinosaur bones, and butterflies spread blue cocaine around for all to enjoy. The subsequent hallucinations have gotten this one to attack the monsters in order she can see, and gotten this kid lost in Superman's Fortress of Solitude. Somehow she didn't seem to have the answer. Anyways, continuing our former analysis, I'm thinking that this game could retell the main extinction of the dinosaurs, and their explanation is that this was caused by people, possibly aliens, and who exactly like people, except for the human You know, history takes All it seems to be now, it does! It blows that they can fit anything. Believe it! Giant swords are so last minute. So these guys can do it out the can't help glow sticks. While they were doing so, the new announcer got the order from the company. The animation director and his girlfriend made out while they watched air. She must break that model with his head for doing so. And the caster told them to kill themselves off one by one. The camera went out of focus because it was made by a furry. And this FF7 fan wrote a picture where he used the Phoenix down with a strangely long hair. Yeah, I think that's something about the new realm. This is a typical boy meets girl meets sentient treasure island scenario. I don't know, guys. Seems a bit straightforward to me. What do you think about a gritty reboot? Oh, no, no, no. I know. I know what's going to save this game. Let's cut to the Platinum Collection Evangelion DVD menu. <laughs> Actually, considering the fanfic community, he probably already has. And speaking of satisfying endings, let's cut to black! The true ending to the Sopranos, next on Tales of Legendia. Take... this! The pie! I made it just for you! I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat! Take a go- Okay, it's good. Shirley, stay inside! Shirley? You can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. So, if you missed any of that, our hero, Settle, a man booed off the stage of T.K. Kugel's Bleach, for the double sin of taking the series title literally and refusing to carry a sword at least twice Shirley? the size, is under attack by sentient aquatic totem poles. Or, that's what he believes in me. Doesn't seem to be doing anything bad per se. Let's see how you like this! Oh, finally, you stopped. They just wanted to tell you. Your ship's tail lights are... Ah! He got away. Actually, it looked to me like you just blew the, the shit working, out of Catch up and finish him off. You know, I take back my earlier spiel on the dinosaurs. New theory? This is a fantasy reboot of Moby Dick. Captain Ahab continues on his reign of terror, lusting for blood, and he finds some, huh? triggering our first pointless tutorial battle. The monster felt different than the others. It was almost human. Is it a human? I'm not quite sure. At this point, the plot, feeling dejected, decides it's going to shoot itself in any way it can, leaving our heroes at a loss for all but two words. What the? What the? What the? What the fuck? <laughs>
Shirley. Say something! Shirley! Don't call me Shirley. Shirley the sudden rush of plot puts Shirley in a coma, from which she is desperately trying not to awake. This fever. She's burning up. She <laughs> I love how his first stuff. thought when he notices her fever is to drag her off the boat and onto the hot sand! Hey, is everything all right? I saw a giant pillar of light 20 miles inland, so I ran straight to the coastline to see if I could help. Hey, this chick's pretty hot! Oh! Oh, sorry! Sorry. Is there some place around here with fresh so water? So Sentinel asks for a convenient plot device for a source of fresh water, where he can save Shirley from the plot the only way he knows how. By well, drowning! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Wishing I could go with her, that's what. Are you trying to kill her? This is what she wanted. Take it up with her. It's all right. This is the only way out, and you know it. Like hell it is. If I'm stuck riding this shitty plot railroad, you're hair. coming along with me. Blowing. Well, apparently they are, since it turns out that Shirley's bioluminescent hair betrays what could only be described as, uh, obvious. Well, seawater makes her ill, but fresh water helps her recover. Uh... I've never heard of anyone with a body like that. Well, mostly because that makes no hint of biological oh, sense, and in no way would I just take someone's word on that. The only way I can try and rationalize this is, is that she's like a freshwater mermaid without fins. Just like in other news, Senel is convinced his orange-clad companion possesses lethal laser eye beams. Hey, quit staring at her. I said quit staring at her. So the man decides that maybe anyway. some exposition will calm him down. We're standing on a giant ship. Wait, 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 run that by me again. We're standing on a giant ship. A ship. A ship. A ship. Wait. A ship? A giant ship. Okay, okay. Stop right there. Who the hell would make a ship that looks like an island? Why? Where would they get the funds for that? I mean, ancient civilizations still need to convince people to do their outrageous crap. Hey guys, I got an idea. Let's make an island ship. Oh, we like a ship the size of an island? We'll, we'll kind of know. No, a ship that is an island. Why not just find an island? How does this thing move? Who moves it? What powers it? How the shit does it float? Where does it make birth? Where does it make birth? Uh, Get away from her. Well, lest we actually think about these questions, the game quickly draws our attention to the latest mysterious villain they could find on short notice, triggering the obligatory first battle against a stupendously overpowered villain. I don't know, I mean, at least in something like Disgaea, this kind of adds a sort of replay value. I mean, I guess I know what they were thinking when they... Wait, 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 wait. wait. I, I'm, I'm doing no, no damage, no damage at all. At all? These developers were really too lazy to make a strong enemy you had nary a chance of beating, so they just made an invincible enemy? The best part of this is that if you block him, you're almost as invincible as he is! This could be the most pointless battle I've ever seen! Why couldn't I just watch this? What am I doing here? What am I fighting for? Well, nothing, apparently, as Shirley is swiftly kidnapped by a Texan aborigine so, and the estranged cousin of Red mayor, Thirteen. So? I didn't think she'd really be here. Uh, again, no how are all these people knowing to come here? The light was explicitly Which said to be in Raging Bay. Bay. Wouldn't they search water. that place out before coming to it's Random Spring? See ya. Stop! Um, Sennel, you, you know you could go after them. It's that monster again! And it's getting away, maybe you should chase it? Can't worry about that now. I need to save Shirley. Then for crap's you know sake, save her! With the they ice. explicitly told us via the orange dude that you're a marine. I hope that means you know how to swim! The water's not deep, we're rough! Get off your ass! Cross the stream! Save Shirley, what's wrong with you? Headed? Why don't you follow him? And it's Lyra's is in a high area beyond some mountains. Uh, sorry, could you be a little less specific, please? Come, Leave follow information me. out of my pet Pikachu, come on! I got your name. I'm Will Renard. And you? <sighs> Senel Coolidge. Descendant of Calvin Coolidge, 30th President of the United States. Keep cool with Senel Coolidge, reducing the size of plot-based intervention in our middle-class role-playing games. Harding said let's let it fare with business. Coolidge made the roar and 20s roar. Hoover screwed the pooch in the 
Great Depression. Roosevelt beat the Nazis in the war. 